What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sticks. A little bit of a different video today. <laughs> I'm on a motorcycle. I uh, just decided to go for a bike ride. Take advantage of this dry weather versus the raining that's been going on and off in Texas. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about <clears throat> risk versus reward. On multiple occasions, it's been brought up to me that I my risk to reward ratio is too high. Hold on one second. I gotta clear my brow. Oh, it's so hot. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Yeah, that my risk reward is way too too high. The numbers are too skewed because people. <clears throat> I've told people that I go in. My average is about 50 contracts, which can range between um, what, like 25, 3,500 dollars, and I get out in three cents. Three cents. It's about depending on where I buy it, but it's usually about 150 bucks. So people are under the impression that I am risking $3,000 to make a hundred. Whoops. And that's just not true. <laughs> it costs me $3,000 to purchase those um, contracts. However, I am not I repeat, I am not willing to lose $3,000 to make 150 bucks. That's insane. So how does, how do I perceive risk? I guess we can discuss that. What is risk? Let's define that first. To me, risk is the amount of money I am willing to lose before I say my trade was wrong and I'm out, before I pull out and take that loss. So 100 bucks, that's the maximum I'm willing to lose. My target profit is $150 when I'm trading conservatively, when I'm, when I'm scalping, right? Three cent scalps, about 150 bucks. That's my target. So what does that mean? That means that I have used $3,000 to buy those 50 contracts, and now I'm willing to risk 100 bucks of those $3,000. At the same time, if it goes up 150 bucks, I'm pulling out unless I see that it's continuously going up and take that money, right? So for anybody that says that I am risking $3,000, it's just not accurate. That's not right. I kind of want to go fast, but I better not. I know there's a lot of cops here. Um, but anyway, yeah. So what I'm willing to risk might be different other people might define risk differently but that is what I'm willing that that is how I define it and that is why I don't see that I am risking three thousand dollars because unless let me give you a scenario where those three thousand dollars would vanish all right the only way those three thousand dollars would vanish and it's happened to me before and I'll go over that in a little bit um, is if for some reason, toss goes down, my internet goes down, um, my power goes out, my phone service goes out, I am unable to call them and tell them, please get me out of my position, this instant, unless anything like where I have no connection to toss to TD Ameritrade, unless something like that happens, then there's no way I'm gonna sit there and bag hold and lose my money like that. That is insane. And if you guys are in the Discord, you will you know that I do not backhold. I do not backhold. That is a that is a, a, a rule of mine. My rule, my philosophy in trading is I am either right or I'm out. Meaning, if I am correct, I am staying in that trade. If I am wrong, I will take my little loss and be out. This is why on my previous uh, Instagram posts and videos, 
you see that my losses are like a hundred dollars 150 bucks they're very small compared to my wins because i don't backhold why do people backhold i have no clue i'd rather be out and and if it turns around and starts going my way then i'll jump back in it's very simple but at least i'm out with a very minimal loss like it's insane to 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 backhold in my opinion i i don't see why i, I just don't see it. and then that's how people blow up accounts and, or, or that's how people end up in debt anyway all right so what happened to me in the past is i went in a trade it was only like i think it was like a loss of like 2600 2700 anyway i went in a trade and toss literally stopped working for me now my mistake for two reasons Yes, toss. I know it can break. I know it can stop working. Reason number one, I did not pick up the phone and I did not call toss or TD Ameritrade and ask them if they can please get me out of my position. That toss stopped working and I need help getting out. Mistake number one. Mistake number two is I could have gone to the damn website, TD Ameritrade, and closed it out myself. Right? So I did not do that. And instead I just waited and waited, really upset, arms crossed. Uh, making Twitter comments, really pissed off at freaking TD Ameritrade or uh, Toss because their system went down. That was dumb. That was dumb. That loss could have been minimized to maybe 200 bucks, 300 bucks, maybe 500. No, instead I took a $2,700 lick because I was being an idiot. So unless those outlets are not available for me, then that is the only way I'm risking 3,000 bucks. I really hope that makes sense and how I see and, and I hope you guys can understand how I see risk um, because I know even on the discord some people have mentioned that you know it's brave of me to take three thousand dollar risk to to go to only make 150 bucks granted that 150 bucks sometimes only takes seconds to make um, it's still crazy that I would risk three thousand dollars I do not risk three thousand dollars I risk a hundred because that is the maximum I'm willing to lose on a particular trade before I say, screw it, I'm out. And I pull my money out and, you know, or I, I sell my my, stock, my uh, options or stock, whatever I'm trading. And then I just, uh, man, it feels good right here. Anyway, um, oh, it feels so cool. But yeah, that's that's the most I'm willing to, to lose, 100 bucks. That's my risk. My reward is 150 when I'm scalping. And that's it. Um, if you guys are not in the Discord, please join. Lots of valuable, valuable information. And it's free. Free info. Um, add us on Instagram, Twitter. J sub to our uh, YouTube channel. I have one. Zero to, zero, to, zero to Hero Trader has one. in Mexico by the way <laughs> all right all right you guys that's it I hope you guys enjoyed it's a short video no stocks shown to you but um, a lot of fun also join us on our Sunday stock talk we break down some charts uh, we go over what we're seeing for the week for the upcoming week and uh, a lot of our picks have been really on the money uh, just really on the money um, lots of great traders in there lots of people that are making changes and actually being profitable they came one of them I want to give a shout out to chinks the Billy that boy came with the motto of I buy high sell low meaning that he's losing money on his trades and uh, now he's been ch his charting has changed for the positive. Um, he's been making some money, and it's it's good to see that. It's good to see people profiting and, and actually uh, doing good, uh, turning their 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 losing streak into a winning streak. But yeah, join us. Thank you so much. Peace out.